Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are talking all things evolution and we will be exploring the cradle of humankind in South Africa. This region is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is known for its abundance of hominid fossils that date back millions of years. Join us as we take a journey through time and discover the fascinating story of human evolution. The Cradle of Humankind is located about 50 kilometers northwest of Johannesburg. It is a complex of limestone caves and fossil sites that have yielded some of the most important discoveries in human evolution. The region covers an area of approximately 47,000 hectares and is home to over 40% of the world's hominid fossils. The first hominid fossil discovered in the Cradle of Humankind was the Tawong Child, a skull of a young Australopithecus africanus discovered in 1924 by Raymond Dart. This discovery was revolutionary because it showed that early humans had evolved in Africa, contrary to the prevailing belief at the time that humans had evolved in Europe or Asia. The Tawong Child was found in the Tawong Limestone Quarry, which is now a site of historical importance. The site has been developed as a tourist attraction and features a museum that showcases the history of human evolution and the role of the Tawong Child in shaping our understanding of our origins. One of the most famous sites in the Cradle of Humankind is the Sterkfontein Caves. This cave system has yielded over 500 hominid fossils, including the most complete Australopithecus africanus skull ever discovered. The fossils found in the Sterkfontein Caves have allowed scientists to piece together the story of human evolution and understand how our ancestors lived and evolved over millions of years. The Sterkfontein Caves are open to the public and visitors can take a tour of the cave system and see where the fossils were discovered. The tour is led by experienced guides who provide information on the history of the caves and the scientific discoveries that have been made there. Another important site in the Cradle of Humankind is the Wonder Cave. This cave is over 120 meters deep and is home to some of the oldest hominid fossils ever discovered. In 2013, scientists announced the discovery of a new species of human ancestor, Homo naledi, in the cave. This discovery was significant because it showed that early humans were capable of complex behavior, such as burial rituals. The discovery of Homo naledi was made by a team of scientists led by Lee Berger, a paleoanthropologist at the University of the Witwatersrand in Johannesburg. The discovery was made possible by the Rising Star Expedition, a team of scientists who worked together to excavate the fossils from the cave. The fossils are currently on display at the Marapang Visitor Center, which showcases the history of human evolution and the importance of the cradle of humankind. The Marapeng Visitor Center is a world-class facility that provides a unique learning experience for visitors. The center features exhibits on the history of the Earth, the evolution of life, and the story of human evolution. Visitors can also take a tour of the Sterkfontein Caves and see where the most important hominid fossils were discovered. The Cradle of Humankind in South Africa is a remarkable region that has helped shape our understanding of human evolution. The abundance of hominid fossils found in the region has allowed scientists to piece together the story of our origins and learn about the early humans who roamed the Earth millions of years ago. The Cradle of Humankind is not only significant for its scientific importance, but also for its cultural and environmental significance. The region has become a popular tourist destination, drawing visitors from around the world to experience the exhibits at the Marapang Visitor Center and take tours of the caves where the fossils were discovered. It is important to note that while the Cradle of Humankind is a fascinating site for exploration, it is also a site that must be protected and preserved for future generations. The conservation of the region is crucial for the preservation of the biodiversity of the area and for the continued study of human evolution. Tickets can be booked online and on-site. The Cradle of Humankind is opened Monday to Sunday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Entrance is free for children under the age of 6 and admission for all visitors over the age of 6 is 100 rands. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time and learning about the remarkable cradle of humankind in South Africa. We hope that you have gained a deeper appreciation for our origins and the importance of preserving the natural world around us. 
Let us know in the comments section if you have already visited or are planning to visit the Cradle of Humankind.